right, right. <laughs> so the thing I'm thinking, they just go out whenever they want to, man. Whenever they just feel like it. Yeah, because that's they don't what I'm work, If they don't work that day or work tomorrow or something, they have been walking. Second Timothy four and uh, two. I'm gonna start at two. Preach the word. Be instant, in season, out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Patience. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Like the Pope just came out and said that you know Muslims and Christians got to respect each other more. What is that? The Bible says there's no respect of person. Why we don't respect a Muslim? That's a heathen. Don't make no damn sense. So, yes, sir. Heard what the Pope said. He said we got to learn to be uh, accepting of these faggots and shit, man. Yeah, he said you got to accept the faggot. And you got to love faggots. That's the Pope. Yeah, we ain't just out here just being anti-Catholic. The Pope says you got love faggots. Right, the Pope said that. You didn't say that. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got it. You know the Bible. You know everybody knows you're not supposed to love faggots. But that's kind of a goddamn sense. You got the Pope telling everybody to love faggots. You go to church all your life and you read the Bible and you know that this shit. Yeah, that's beyond me. You no. Know, oh yeah, this bitch just blocked me on YouTube yesterday. She blocked me because I posted a Bible scripture. I didn't say nothing nasty or mean. You know what I mean? Because I be mean too sometimes. I was being real nice. I just posted a Bible scripture that says if you're gonna eat any kind of animal out of the water, it's gotta have scales and it's gotta have fins. Yeah, that's in Leviticus 11. You can read Leviticus 11, Leviticus 11, it tells you about all this stuff you can eat and what you can't eat. And it says you cannot eat clams, you can't eat oysters, you can't eat catfish, okay? You can't eat none of that madness. You're not supposed to eat pork, okay? That's in the Bible, right? It ain't in the Quran, it's in the Bible. All right, people tell, oh, y'all must be Muslims, you don't eat pork. Y'all some dumbass heathens, man. They say they don't, but they do. Yeah, Muslims are foul creatures, man. They, they, they eat, they eat dookie, man. They're fucking heathen. Let me get this finish this up. Second Timothy 4 and 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lusts shall they heat to themselves teachers having itching ears. Hmm. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned onto fables. But watch thou in all things endure afflictions. Turn do the you know work. These motherfuckers they love. You know people oh, worshiping yeah. Harry Potter. Oh yeah. yeah, Harry Potter. Well, that's what, yeah, that's why all the TV shows are so popular. Everybody, yeah, people are more interested in the Lord of the Rings than the Bible. They're in you the know Hunger what I'm saying? Games novel shit now. Mm -hmm. Oh, Hunger they Games sure too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That shit now. Yeah. That's that hot shit, huh? Yeah. But, yeah, but see, don't get into these works of fiction and they be studying them. They be a late night studying that shit. Yeah, but every last thing. Like I like that Lord of the Rings stuff. 
<laughs> you see people that they know it. They can speak Elven. You know what I'm saying? They can speak the language of the Elves. Oh, what about them Star Trek people? They can. You got Star Trek people that can speak Klingon. Yeah, that's what Jeff is. Yeah, you got. They got Star Trek conventions where where Trekkies be speaking in Klingon. And they study that shit, but they won't study the Bible. So how stupid are these people, man? You see that shit? You get on the internet, learn how to speak. Actually, they got translators on the internet that would translate English into Klingon. I see them from my own eyes. No, hold on. Let me get this right here, too. Guys. Um, 2 Timothy 3 and 7. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Oh, that, that's going to a lot of these people. A lot of these people, you'll see they always study in history. And they all study in uh, so-called the ancient sciences and all this stuff. They've been uh, they into all kind of mysteries. <laughs> yeah, they got they got yeah they got more books you ever seen in your life. They got whole DVD collections. They got books full of notes, but they still don't believe in the word of the Lord. You know what I mean? So they ever learn, he never coming to the truth. Yeah, they have all them damn books. And, and, and have the one Bible, and it'd be dusty as hell. But all the books look like they've been tampered with. That will go back to the ancient Greek. Back in the ancient Greek world, the Greeks, they were into mathematics. You know what I'm saying? They was into geometry. Okay, they, they was into uh, all these ancient sciences. You know, like, you know, algebra, all that. So if they had all this great knowledge like that, they could build giant buildings. But it, it doesn't mean nothing unless you believe in the Lord. That's what that's talked about, really. You can, you can know all the computer science in the world. You can know how to uh, you can know how to do 20 computer languages. That still don't mean shit. If you can't, if you ain't down with this language, you know what I'm saying? This yeah, that's just kind of this toilet paper. Yeah, because yeah, you got people, we on Ohio State campus, they'll come out here and they'll talk shit. They're like, oh, I'm a rocket scientist, bitch. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Well, like your boy, uh, uh, the little light skinned dude. Oh, yeah, he's, a, the, he's a rocket science. He's a, he says he's an agnostic. The auger. Yeah. About the auger, dude. <laughs> but he said he's an agnostic. He don't believe in the Lord. He, but he thinks he has some kind of great knowledge because he knows a little bit about science. You know what I'm saying? Shit. You didn't invent science. Science was here before your ass was born. The Lord created laws of physics. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, we gotta get it, dude. Second Timothy two. Oh, my bad. Second Timothy three and seven. Ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. That was pretty much just, I'm on, let me start from the top of her. Uh, 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. Yeah, we in the last days, y'all seen all kind of perilous shit happen already. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Yeah, that, that's, that's, that really sums this whole society up in one, in one scripture. Read that, read that again. 2 Timothy 3 and 1. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Perilous times. We in perilous. We, we on the verge of World War III right now. Okay? America has bases and military operations going on around like 200 countries and more. Keep going. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Covidious boast, boasters. Boasters. You know how people come up talking about they do shit? I'm like, fuck that Bible shit, I'm getting money. It's like, yeah. like all these rappers, you listen to the rapper, the whole song is about how fucking awesome he is. You know what I'm saying? That's all they rap about. Like, I'm this and I'm that bitch. You know what I'm saying? That's all rappers talk about, is themselves. Very rarely you're gonna hear a rapper say something deep. You hit a scripture in the rap, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but like I said, I, yeah, I ain't gonna give nobody no props. Yeah, you ain't hardly hear no. I was just about to when I caught myself. <laughs> fuck, yeah, fuck all you fake ass bitches, man. The whole fucking Yeah, because like, I was just about to say, say something about Wu-Tang. 
But I listen to all these Wu-Tang songs, and they talk about the Bible, they reference the Bible, but never once have I heard Yahweh Shai in, in the song. Maybe once or twice, maybe like on a on a track that wasn't real popular and it wasn't by like the RZA, you know what I'm saying? By one of the other dudes. They, they don't be coming out here all the time glorifying the name of the Lord in the music. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to glorify the name of the Lord. You don't never hear the name of the Lord. It's like they trying to hide it or something. And yeah, because Wu-Tang know about the Bible. Like Wu-Tang, they rap about the Bible a lot. But you don't, they don't be pushing that name like they're supposed to be pushing that name. So that's why they're going to get destroyed. Like, keep going. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous boasters, proud blasphemers, disobedient parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection. Yeah, these people out here have no natural affection. That, my, especially these bitches. These bitches are a goddamn carnivore. You know what I'm saying? They, uh, they tell you fucking Tyrannosaurus Rex. They eat their own children. You know what I'm saying? These women that eat their own children are savages. I got a script for that. Nasty ass bitches, man. Yeah, they have no compassion. They're uncompassionate. They're worthless. Without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers. Yeah, they, that, without natural affection, that goes back to these women breaking up all these families. That's why no one's married no more. When they say like 80% or what's probably like 90% uh, black children are born into a uh, single parent household. It's like 90%, man. It's like 90%. Yeah, I am. The last time I read a bit, 87% last time I looked at it. It, 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 ain't just, it ain't just black people that's like that now, too. It's everybody. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Ain't no sense. I don't do everybody. These black people are evil. Yeah. 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 That first, that was an Edomite bitch right there. Your husband and shit. Well, it's the them Edomite bitches, them Jew bitches, they the ones that started that women's liberation. Right. That shit was started by the, them fucking Jew devils, the fake Jews, who are really Edomites. Right. You shouldn't be wearing leather shoes. You should shut the hell up. 1919, look that up. You should, you should walk down the street looking like a douchebag and a faggot. He fucking talk shit to us, he looks like a fucking faggot. And he's walking like, he's walking like he's got a dick in his ass. Got fucking canvas shoes on anyway. Yeah, we all wear, yeah, we, 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 we all wearing tucks or some shit. Right, you're the fucking idiot. That's some fucking shit. I don't never even wear my chucks. Without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, incontinent, fear. Fierce oh, spazzers. Oh, hold on. Right, right before you read that, I was about to, I forgot, I was about to uh, say somebody's women. Because we just saying like over 90% of like black children are born into a single parent household, right? The same thing goes for all the Israelite children. They all growing up in broken families. They don't have a mother and a father, okay? Not only that, but if they have a single parent, their mom's out sucking dick all day if she's working. Or they kids just with different babysitters all the time, never with his real parents. And, they, and that's how this shit is now these days. I got a scripture for these hoes, man. This is evil. This is Lamentations 4 and 1. How has the gold become dim? All right, because we're, we're like gold, right? Israel is gold. We the treasure of the earth. We the, we the apple of the Lord's eye. How has the gold become dim? How has the most fine gold changed? The stones of the sanctuary are poured out in the top of every street. The precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold, how are they esteemed? Yeah, that's like I said, we like Israel gold, the elected Israel, we gold. Like the Lord, yeah, right. He said he's gonna try a one third in the, as the, as the, in the fire as like that process when you take gold out the dirt, out the earth, you know, you got to burn it, the, the burning impurities also. Yep. You can have these melts and cools off as pure, like you said. They shift it too. Yeah. yeah. Now, the, the sifting is going on as soon as they bring it out, they sift it, it's going down that, um, they call them um, sloth machines, sloth machines. And it comes down, you know, that's when it's separating from the big
washing that shit with water, separating from the mud and the dirt and the rock. Yeah. And the gold is heavier and it got and it falls into like a um like sponges. And it's fall and it's heavier and it drops between the cracks and the sponges and they wash it all out. You know, and then they it's a long process. Yeah, it's right. It's That's expensive a long process. Yeah, it should take it was forever. easier back in the day though, because they had some type of process. It was yeah. easier for them. They were smarter back in the day. They think it's dumb as fuck. That goes back to people not wanting to teach. You know what I'm saying? You got people who don't want to do the work. Look, I mean, you got, hey, that person, yeah, because by doing the work, believing in the Lord, you the get Lord, man. Believe in the cops. Yeah, so you, yeah, you get tried in a fire by coming out here. If it, you get tried in a fire when you're dealing with your family for teaching them the truth. Or your friends, your wife. That scripture says, um, what's that, 2 Peter 3 and 4? What it yeah. says, pay, uh, suffer, suffer. Long, He's saying, yeah. long suffer. Long, long suffer. He's saying, patient. That's a part of that fire. That's that fire. fire yeah. The Lord just ain't going to come down and save your ass the first day you believe. <laughs> you know, I thought you were special. <laughs> I mean, there are, I mean, they the lucky ones. That's yeah. when they wake up in the last days, they want to say, they didn't have to lose for me a few that might not even have to go for them. What's up, bro? It said the precious sons of Zion, comparable to fine gold. How are they esteemed as earthen pitchers, the work in the hands of the potter? And this goes out to the toes right here. Even the sea monsters draw out their breasts. They give suck to their young ones. The daughter of my people is become cruel. Every, like, every week you babysit them. The, like the ostriches in the wilderness. I know some bitches that'll fuck with a nigga just so he can stay at the crib. Especially a nigga, they find a nigga ain't got a fucking job. Yeah. He can stay at their crib and watch the kids while she go out and do her thing. I know a couple bitches that do that. My, you know? my baby's daddy, that's what my baby's daddy. My bitches. <laughs> they gonna take that video, boy. They gonna play that back a hundred times. I don't care. <laughs> My baby's mama. Yeah, yeah. My baby's mama. That'd be strange if I had a baby daddy. That's some shit. That'd be some, hey, that shit happens in America, though. That's yeah. What's that movie that came out with, uh, with uh, oh, Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah, yeah. and uh, Danny DeVito? Junior. Did, yeah, Danny. I remember that old ass movie. Yeah, that's some, that's some weird shit, man. Yeah, but my baby's mama. That bitch told me. That <laughs> that, yeah, that bitch told me. Yeah, that bitch told me, she, yeah, she said that's what daycare is for, to take care of your children for you, so you don't have to. She actually told me that. She actually said that's what daycare is for. She said, you can't be spending all the time with your kids all day. You know, man, it's a dumbass sense But look, this is pretty close. Even if sea monsters draw out the breast, they get sucked to the young ones. The daughter of my people has become cruel. Like the ostriches in the wilderness. Yeah, that's like that's a cold-blooded bird, you know what I'm saying? A, you, a cold-blooded animal got no feelings. Okay, like I don't... It just buries his eggs. Yeah, I don't even trust motherfucking birds and shit. They claw out your eyes and eat your nose, you know what I'm saying? Well, that mean you talking about how vultures might don't actually sit and wait till you're dead? Yeah, like the bird. Yeah, they, they eat your decay. They don't, they don't yeah. like you with decay already. Yeah, like they'll rotten. follow you. Like you're in the desert. They can tell if you Yeah, they will follow you. Follow you. Yeah, they can tell if you're sad. Yeah, they can tell if you're sad. They're just waiting, man. Just like get, a bitch. Because if they don't get you, them <laughs> yeah, hyenas. Just like a bitch. Them other creatures out there that eat you. <laughs> but these women are creatures, though. They said they, the scripture said they're worse than a cold blooded bird, a cold blooded animal. Right, right. But who gave them permission to be that way and do that shit, though? Pastor Chip. Yeah. Yeah, they took it and ran with it. And their mama. Yes, yeah, their mom, their grandma's number one. Big coach. mama. Yep. They the number one. They 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 guilty. And their punishment is death. Said it's okay. Where in the scriptures does it say that the most high said you you I'm making you an exception so bitch you can go out and do your thing. Go and go do your thing. Where's that in the scriptures? That ain't nowhere in the scriptures, man. Goddamn wicked bitch. A bitch ain't never read the scriptures to begin with. Right. So right. how the hell she know what's even in the Bible? Hell, her spiritual leader never read the Bible. <laughs> yeah, the, the preachers of the churches, their Bibles be all perfect. 
Ain't, ain't got a single wrinkle on the page. Not a tear in the page. It looks like they just bought it from the store. Yup. And that's the one they had for years. Yeah. Cause they ain't never, the pages ain't never got turned. It's just stuck on job 316. Right. <laughs> No ink in the pages, no markers in the pages. They got no notes. No notes. No. They, they just use the no notes. Bookmarks. The only notes they use is that, that the ones that's already in there. <laughs> they gonna put one, like I got one right here. They gonna think I'm good with this one. Bro. <laughs> they, gonna, they gonna read the notes that's already in the box because they gonna buy the, the big special Bible that got extra notes in it. And then they gonna preach on that and the, 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 the con congregation gonna think, oh, this guy's a genius. You know what I mean? Here you go, check this out. It's the Apocrypha, Ecclesiastes 15 and 20. The book that y'all deny. That ain't part of the Bible. Um, oh yeah, then the preachers that have a problem with you yeah. when you use the Apocrypha. A lot of them don't even use the King James now. You know what I'm saying? They some wicked devils, man. So if your church don't use the King James Bible, you, got, you know that's the church of Satan. You know what I'm saying? Well, they all the church of Satan. But especially because you got some of them that, that think they're doing good and they're trying to do good, but they're retarded. You know what I'm saying? And, and they, and, but they love that King James. You know what I'm saying? Because they'll, they'll, they'll fight you for that King James. You talk shit about King James, they'll fight you. You know what I'm saying? And we like that too. That's right. That's right. Here you go. Ecclesiastes 15 to 20. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly. So yeah, the most high didn't command you to do nothing wicked. He told oh, you yeah. to keep his commandments. That's the commandment. That's right. The commandment said, what's the Ten Commandments says? Thou shalt not commit adultery. Okay? That's a cut on all you bitches, man. You a bunch of adulterous ass whores. Our bitches ain't got shit to say when you bring out the Ten Commandments. Especially if they believe in the Lord. You ain't got shit to say. Because all you women done committed adultery a thousand times, done sucked a thousand dicks. Then fucking had sex with animals. <laughs> but Reverend Porkchop said that it's okay. You're not under the law. Yeah. There's a famous one with it. Uh, oh yeah, we're all brothers in Christ. Uh, yeah. We're so drawn to something in this blood. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah. I, I can understand. <laughs> I can understand. I heard a couple of them say that shit. Yeah, you're supposed to forgive people, but uh, not not evil people. You got bitches sucking dick every day, she ain't gonna stop. Once a hoe, always a hoe. Hey, the Bible says there shall be no whores of the daughter of Israel. So, so the Lord ain't with that being a hoe shit. That's in like Deuteronomy 26. He hath commanded no man to do wickedly, neither hath he given any man license to sin. Cut to Mr. Porkchop, Reverend yeah. Porkchop. Teach the congregation, if that nigga ain't going right by your body, oh, yeah. throw that nigga out and move on. You know, they teach him that. That man ain't got a job, so you need to find you one that's gonna take care of you and, and those uh, seven children. You really much need to find someone that's going to stick their head up your ass. Like this, he just read and said, the Lord ain't commands you to do nothing wickedly. I'm gonna show you what the Lord commanded you. This is Deuteronomy 17, uh, excuse me, Deuteronomy 26 and 16. This day the Lord thy God hath commanded thee to do these statutes and judgments. Thou shalt therefore keep and do them with all thine heart and with all thy soul. So you're supposed to keep the commandments with all your heart. So if you, if a woman commits adultery, not just once, but twice, because you can forgive people sometimes, I guess. I guess you can. Yeah. But, but they, they keep committing adultery over and over and over and over again. That's what they do. She's not, the, the Lord, she's not loving the Lord with all her heart. Trust me. This bitch is a no good hoe. She needs to die. She needs to be put to death. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's why this guy is here. Trying to save faggots and forgive faggots. Just look at these people. Look, they're not changing their ways no time soon. Okay? You can't stop a faggot from being a faggot. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, yeah. You, well, got, that, you got that faggot demon yeah. on you, it's a Yeah, once they done took all those mini dicks up in their asshole, drank all that sperm, <laughs> it's, it's over. It's over. Plus, they already got AIDS, ain't no coming back from that. You know what I'm saying? 
who else know what kind? They, they have more than AIDS. They got all kind of diseases. Herpes and gonorrhea. You ain't never seen it. She's never heard of how. Yeah, she's, yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. It is amazing. I ain't never had that hour. So, how you gonna forgive somebody like that? Look, they're not changing. Said, Thou hast avouched the Lord this day to be thy God and to walk in his ways and to keep his statutes and his commandments and his judgments and to hearken unto his voice. So you're supposed to listen to the Lord's voice and his voice is his word. Does it say make the choice? You make that choice to do all that? Yeah, it say you had no choice. Ain't no choice. Well, that's what John 4, uh, was that John 15 and 16? He says, I have chosen you, you have not chosen me. It ain't no choice. There's no free will. Yeah, we predestined. That's the election's told you, not everybody. But that's another more proof that you can't forgive a faggot or an adulterous woman. Because it's obviously they ass was not chosen. If the Lord would have chosen them, he wouldn't have turned them into a faggot. Because ultimately it's the Lord that created all these faggots. It's not even going to look like they're full of shit. Yeah, get the faggots on camera. Look at these. Look like they're full of shit. See their gut? Yeah, their gut. There's assholes probably exploding. Yeah. Can't even walk no more. Like they're full of shit. Can't even walk no more. He probably got little animals uh, stuck up in his ass. Nice, uh, squirrels or uh, squirrels. <laughs> yep, yep. He says squirrels. Yep. <laughs> yep. Patrick Swayze, that was his shit. Oh, yeah, it was. Put a little mice up his ass. Yeah, yeah, like oh, yeah. Richard Gere too. He's Richard Gere, that's right. Sticking yeah. gerbils up Put the tubes in their ass and let mice fall in. He go to that shit. People in the scat sex, they like, please just come over and shit on me. Oh, Say wow. it turns me on. Yeah, you some of these bitches will let you piss in their mouth. It's nasty. These nut hoes is nasty, man. They into that shit, getting pissed on and shit up, shit upon. They lick, they lick each other. A woman will look, look uh, another woman's asshole for five hours straight and love it. And they do it all night. Then kiss each other on the lips. Go straight ass to mouth. Yep, they making this up on some videos in there that's called Tissue Love. I've already seen the videos. Yep, that's why you seen it. You've seen the Tissue Love. I don't know if I've seen plenty of videos. Right. Okay. Y'all done testified against yourself with those videos. Really, that's what they did. Those videos. When these bitches make all these pornos that are free for the whole world to see, you testified against yourself to use a wicked hoe. We got proof it's on camera. We ain't making this shit up. There's billions of pornos on the internet with different women in every video. Right. That means billions of women are making porno. That's like every woman is. Oh, hold up. Let me get this on. Yeah, I forgot say, all that, about that's this. That's says it right there. Get this on camera. I ain't gotta say nothing, just read that. Right, it's just a matter of time till we find our wise video on the internet. Yeah, yeah you, know you know what I'm saying? saying? It's, she you got know a video, you know. the secret channel. The secret channel, right, right. We're out committing adultery and that nigga had a hidden camera for the girl. You know? Oh, yeah. Like, I remember like the nasty ass. I twist the nigga's wheel. Yeah. I mean, when you got one straight back, that went that with that. that pretty much put that choice. Uh, John 6 and 63 It is the spirit that quickeneth the flesh profit profiteth nothing the yeah, words the, that I speak Yeah, my fault. Yeah, the flesh profiteth nothing So, like, truck, just going out and just, like these women, all they care about is uh, pleasure in their bodies get fucked by different men all day all they all they into is pleasure in their soul They ain't gonna get you too far First of all, your ass is gonna die one day what, What's the pleasure in death? Gonna be dead, bitch. Keep going. It is the spirit that quick quickeneth the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Yeah, because yeah, uh, uh, one of these dumb assholes, they ain't nothing spiritual about none of these women. Okay, I have yet to meet that great spiritual woman. You know who 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 uh. Found one yet? Uh, I I have yet to find a woman. Who, what's the word I'm looking for? Who inspires me spiritually? Okay, to make a woman to make me think and to say something deep, really make me like, yeah, baby, yeah. I have yet to find a woman like that. One that enlightens you. Yeah, a woman that enlightens me. <laughs> ain't, ain't nothing enlightening about these fucking hoes, man. Why you think I call them hoes and bitches? I don't call a woman half the time. Hey, hoes and bitches, bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks. 
There's nothing wrong with that. That's the truth. That's the only thing those rappers got right. You know what I'm saying? But the same bitches they talking about, they can't wait for this. Right. <laughs> Uh, John 6 and 64 but there are some of you that believe not for Yahweh Shai knew from the beginning who they were that believe not and who should betray him See, that, that, that goes that, that's right he already knew uh, before Judas betrayed the Lord he knew he was going to do it before it happened he said whoever is going to dip his thing in the sauce that's the guy who's going to be betrayed he already, he already said it that Judas Betraying before it even happened. See, he knew this. The Lord already knows this. He already knows you're a hoe. He already knows that you're a faggot. Okay? So that's why the Lord didn't choose a faggot to do his work. Okay? The Lord is looking for real men, not faggots. And he definitely ain't looking for no woman. Okay? The woman, the only thing you can do is just, just die. Okay? And he said, therefore, he said, I unto you. That no, that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. Right, yeah, cause the, the, the heavenly father set all this up, man. He didn't choose everybody to do his work. Yeah, so you're a faggot. You just... That's why we ain't got faggots out here with us. You think we ain't gonna hang out with no faggots? How Sign the cell. You ain't gonna get on TV like uh, your boy General Gahane and said, we have no problem with homosexuals. Oh, wow. Oh, we have no problem. We, we, we got to forgive a brother. Well, we got to forgive shit. My boy, you come to boy. Snake juice. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> you got a bag of medication. Hey, snake juice, need that. Snake juice, Leonard, man. Snake juice. That's Leonard. reptilian. He going to do it. He's going to actually crap you up. When he first met him, man, he was talking about that shit. He was talking about some oh, yeah. UFOs. Mm -hmm. That's why he the totally flipped and forgot all about it. Oh, yeah, I forgot all about that shit. That's why we called him the reptilian shape shift the Negro. <laughs> yeah, I was, man, I still have the old videos from like three years ago. What up, dude? What's up? What's up, man? What, what you doing? You moving? Huh? You moving? No, I slipped the school. All right, Pat. How you doing, man? All right. What's up? What we in? What's going on? Oh, no. Oh. Uh, hey, I got a script for Deuteronomy, uh, this one finished with the rest of it. I was already reading it. Deuteronomy 26 and 18. How long have you guys been out here? Oh, I'm not long, half an hour. Yeah, listen to the script. Deuteronomy 26 and 18. And the Lord have avouched thee this day to be his peculiar people. Peculiar. But that's a word. You should look that up. Peculiar? Yeah. I get it. You got a dictionary? I, I got a dictionary. I got one. Look that up. For a peculiar people. That's a hard word to say. The Lord hath avouched thee this day to be his peculiar people, as he hath promised thee, and that thou shouldest keep all his commandments. So you keeping the Lord's commandments? Me? Yeah. Come on, man, don't make me laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just laughing at you because you're so addicted to the Bible, man. I just can't believe it. I am it. addicted to the Bible. Really? I am. Listen, and to make thee high above all nations, which he hath made in praise and in name and in honor, and that thou mayest be a holy people unto the Lord thy God as he has spoken. I got peculiar right here. And the Lord said, We're his peculiar people. So the Lord created everybody, but he got a special people that is peculiar. Characteristics of only one person, group, or thing. Different from the usual or normal, special, peculiar, odd, curious, eccentric. You got queer under here. <laughs> hey, what is a uh, what that used to be? Strange. Well, queer just meant used to be different. Because actually, the word queer didn't used to mean being a faggot. That you know what I mean? Just like gay did originally mean gay means happy. Ain't nothing happy about being a faggot, okay? Gay means happy. I'm teaching the Bible. I'm gay. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> but these faggots come in and they steal words. And then, then they took the rainbow, made the rainbow the faggot symbol. Hey, that's all. When the rainbow is a symbol in the Bible, when the Lord, uh, after the Lord flooded the earth, when Noah got off the ark, or what, when the flood was over and it stopped raining, they seen a rainbow in the sky. The Lord said, that's my covenant between me and man, is this rainbow. But the other faggots had to take it and turn it into a faggot symbol. Right, 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 right. Oh, uh, it's just color, I guess. Yeah, but so we're different than everybody else. So if some Chinese people came up here, like some straight up gooks, came up like, oh, I think, I think, I you want to hang out with those people? We ain't nothing, we got nothing in common. If I could understand what they're saying, I probably would. Even if you could, they had just have Go eat some cat with them. Chinese, yeah, they going to come out with them. They ain't going to take this cat. Oh, okay. check on. So why is everybody bearded? What happened? You guys, we have to have beards? It's a mall. 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 It's a mall.
favorite. Are you sure about that? How can you be sure about that? There's no doubt about it. You never in your life. The whole time you think you're lying, you ain't found one people that got more wisdom knowledge and understanding. All right. You're not people. Name one person. None. None. You can't think of none. I don't get that script that got early. We've been doing all kinds of shit. I don't even boast, but I, sometimes I, I, I can't believe I know as much shit as I do. Really? But something tells me, I don't know. Oh, do you get into the Bible as much as your brother? He's out here with us. He's over there right now filming. Really? If he wasn't into it, he wouldn't be out here. Trust me. Because when people's not into it, they're not into it. There's, there's, there's a scripture on that, as you, you said, about that you into like, you know, fables and like fantasy stuff. There's actually a scripture on that. Really? That was written. We read that earlier. Yeah, we read that earlier. I'm just going to get to the point though. Here you go. Let me read this real quick. This is Isaiah 13 and 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Yeah, that's an Israelite man. That's an Israelite man. Even. Not only that, and then only that, but he elected him. And that, just because you're an Israelite don't mean you're good to go. You know? Two thirds of Israel are going to be destroyed. The Lord is going to kill two thirds of his own people. Let's yeah. read um, uh, Romans 9 and I think it's 9 and 6. It tells you that not all Israel is Israel anyway. Yep. Meaning that you know how to, uh, what's up, brother? Ain't nobody by all your brother, man. You know, so he's saying that fuck that brotherhood. Ain't all Israel. You can't anymore. trust anybody. Right. Hey, no, these people ain't not your friends. Well, snap, in fact, they see you got a sack of weed in the front of you. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Or as soon as you park, they're snatching and run. Yeah, don't even bump your system in the neighborhood, too. They go, oh, he got a nice system. Things so, yeah, everything gone. I know, it's scary. I'm going to tell you that. So, this is real short and simple. Uh, 2 Timothy 4 4. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. And shall be turned onto fables. That's, that's the brothers. brothers. That's, that's the mother brothers. <laughs> yeah, because they won't listen to us. But they, they'll go home and watch some crazy, uh, what, some, some crazy show on the History Channel talk about ancient aliens. Really? Oh, they'll watch them. Oh, that's even worse. They'll it's go like I told my buddy at work, he's into the religion and everything. I said, this is too boring. What's so boring about reading about my the, nuclear missiles for? We're talking about the Bible. That's what I'm talking about. What's so boring, boring? about reading my nuclear missiles coming to destroy your enemy? Oh, wait, boring here is not in there. assassination in real life, you know? Oh, the Batman movie. What part was the assassination? Did anybody know? Sandy Hook. You know, when the guy started shooting at the people during Batman, what part of the movie was it? They, they were like, shooting oh, in the movie. Huh? It was they when they when first the started, started shooting. In the movie, when the shooting started, I think they said when the shooting started in, in the, the movie. movie they started really? They started shooting. It was all set up. It was I all... I the life when I come out. It was playing. Yeah, it's your life when I come out. Really? Yeah. I'm just thinking that. My, I'm just thinking that, bro. But look, I got a scripture. You said nuclear missiles. I'd love it out here. Ain't in the Bible. People here's not in it. But well, well, this is in the Bible. Listen to this. How many other people see what we're doing for? Watch this. I got it. Watch this. Watch. This is Psalms 11 and 5. The Lord trieth the righteous. This, we talking about that earlier. The Lord trying. That's the oh, spirit. They keep going back to that. That's right. That's the spirit we're taking. It's talking about us men. We're talking about us elect. The Lord trieth the righteous, but the wicked in him that loveth violence, his soul hated. Right. You know, Brown don't like this stuff. Like this stuff. Like this ain't for this man. You know, and you can't call a person like Nino Brown a righteous man. The hates Lord just said he hates him. That's right. Like the Lord hates all these faggots out here. All these wicked ass cutthroats. Like all these people, they want little gang bangers. 
they always want to stick you up. So they, they want to be a gangster. They're always flashing these pistols. Always playing with the pistol all day. Like, put your pistol on your side. Fuck, it's not back. You know what I'm saying? Or, hey, it's hypocrites, too. I know these white motherfuckers walking around. And they, we all American, we all family, we all going. But we just turn the back. And they go home. They all stay.